I think that at this point in society, we just have to really train our minds to understand that um, Instagram can be a great thing and a bad thing. Social media can be a great thing and a bad thing. It just depends on the relationship that we decide to have with it. So it's important to develop a healthy relationship, to understand it's a highlight reel, it's not real life, and understand that people are probably photoshopping and face tuning and doing all these things. And that should hopefully take the pressure off and also People can look beautiful in a photo and have the perfect body and Photoshop and Facetune and all these things, but you never know what that person is really going through. You never know if they're sad, depressed, going through a death, going through a relationship struggle. When you have a lot of people who can say whatever they want to at all times, you can definitely, some of that can take its toll and it definitely penetrates at a certain point and it hurts. But if you just concentrate on working hard and being a good person, that's all that you can do. That's all that you should ever try to do. And it simplifies things in the best way. I think that taking a social detox is always a good idea and just really listening to your body and figuring out what you align with. Like when something doesn't feel right and it feels bad, there's definitely a reason for that and you have to listen to that. To be honest, I don't feel like the pressures of Miss Universe and social media are the same, I think. I think it was just because I was so young and I had never even been a part of this world before. I was kind of just, I was so new to it that I didn't take it very seriously, I guess, but I think that um, now, inevitably, social media is just huge. It's taking over everything. I think when I was Miss Universe, I don't even think I had an Instagram, so um, I didn't really feel a similar type of pressure, but um, now it's totally different. That was, I think that's just because that was when I was first starting out, I just, I think that you have these walls that like really protect you and then as you're in this industry for longer and longer they kind of break and then you you things get to you that you like never realize ever would in a way so it's different now i feel a lot more pressure than i did then being in the public eye is part of what happened with my career and I'm very grateful for every opportunity I've ever had and I'm also so grateful for the opportunity that I can continue to envision and set as a goal and I think that that's such a great part of life whether you're in the public eye or not in the public eye and I, I really do love the part of my job that allows me to connect with so many people and hopefully inspire them in certain ways and um, that's, that's definitely my one of my favorite parts of my job. So I think there can be pressure that comes with that, but I, I definitely am grateful. I think that that's the only attitude that, that you should have. Otherwise, you should get a new job. <laughs>